Hey everyone, Pastor George here, coming to you guys with today's Bible study recap from my apartment. Um, unfortunately, I forgot my camera at the church, uh, and the whole reason I came back here was to have a more quiet space to do this. So, uh, hilariously, it, I, I've, I've been hoisted by my own petard, as uh, Shakespeare would say. But regardless, I'm going to bring you guys today's uh, Bible study recap. And today, when we were in Bible study, we looked at chapters 13 and 14 of the book of Job. And in these chapters, Job is continuing his response to his friends that we left off in last week. Now, in last week's uh, thing, where we, we looked at what Job had to say about his 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 inability to grapple with what his friends were saying about how he must have done something wrong. And that's how he starts off this week. So he begins by telling them, you know, my eyes have seen all of what you've said. My ears have understood it. Um, what you think you're so wise about, I'm also wise. And you guys would actually be wiser if you just shut up. <laughs> people, because you'd look old and wise and people would pay attention to you. But as soon as you open your mouth, it's clear that you don't have any wisdom. That's what he's saying to his friends, right? And so the first part of 13, he's addressing this to his friends and he's basically saying, you know, this is my time. This is my day in court. I get a chance to find out from God what I've done wrong. Allow me to do that. Right. And then he, he switches. He says, you know, and that is in my, my hope and my salvation is that I know God. And he tells his friends basically that they need to take God more seriously because the way that they're explaining what's going on shows that they don't really care about justice the way God does. Right. That Job must have done something wrong, but if that isn't the case, then they are perverting justice by what they're saying, and God takes perversion of justice really seriously. So here in this passage, Job is telling them, hey, you need to take it seriously, and my hope is in God. I'm going to bring this to trial, right? He uses a lot of legal language here, and God is going to judge, and God will answer me why this happens this way, right? And so he's hoping in God, right? He's saying if he strikes me down, that's his right. But I know that he won't because I trust that he's going to listen to my complaint. He's going to hear me out. And that's what happens, of course, in the book of Job. So he, he begins by saying that. And then he goes into kind of this soliloquy about, hey, God, you know everything about a person's life, right? Nothing escapes you. So if I, there must have been something I did wrong, you would know it. Right? You put my feet in the stocks. You tell me how far I can go. So you know you, you walk me in to a certain place, and you also t t say how far I can go. I, so God is with me even when I'm locked in place and when I'm far and walking, and he's the one that enables me to do that. So he never leaves my side. So God knows what's happening. Right. So this is a big statement again on God's sovereignty. And so the underlying thing here that Job is getting at is, hey, you, I must have done something wrong and only God can tell can tell that, or I didn't, and I'm I'm being punished. That's what he thinks is happening, right? Because again, he, he no one's aware of what's going on behind the scenes. So he thinks God is punishing him for something. And in verse 14, he shifts to talking about humanity, right? And what we are like. And he, he says that our days are short and they are full of trouble, right? And what that means is just there's lots of worry, there's lots of difficulty, and we don't really live for a long time. And I made the point of saying in Bible study today that even though we might live longer than humans ever have, right? We, many people live into their 80s and 90s, which is unheard of. Well, not unheard of. It, it happened, but it was, it was much rarer in the past, right? To, to, to be able to live to that age just because of diseases and treatments and stuff like that, that chances are you weren't going to live that long. And so uh, our days are short. And if you look at like a good way of giving that perspective is, I mean, the way that Job relates humans to trees, right? He says that we are more like flowers. We bloom and then we wither and die, right? We don't live very long, but trees live a long time and they can come back, right? So you can chop down a tree or a tree can be damaged in some way, but new shoots will raise up out of it and keep the tree alive. And uh, that's not like a human, which doesn't have a, a chance of renewal, right? This is what Job is saying. And he, he speaks somewhat broadly and you know, maybe that something at the end of time will happen where people will be raised. But until that time, right, you're dead, you're in shale, you're not coming back. So that's kind of his big point here is, is that, hey, you know, we don't, we die, we're like flowers. We live quickly and then, and then we, we, we wither. 
And so his point being here is that like, I don't live for a long time. This is where he gets at the end, right? He says, God, you're like water or you're like the person that can shake the mountain because and, and wither away the earth through water because you outlast us. You weigh a man down over the course of his life, right? You like our bodies fail us, our minds fail us, we forget things, we, be, we, we get worse and then we die. And God, you, through your sovereignty, cause these things to happen, allow them to happen. And uh, his point being there is just saying, like, I'm going to die sometime and I want an answer. That's that's what he's saying. And so that's what, how he ends for today. We'll see what his friend Elphaz, like, well, you're going to see there's a batting order to Job's friend. So Eliphaz goes, then Bildad, then Zophar. And they do that a few times and Job responds to each one of them. So we're gonna see, we, we're gonna see uh, uh, Eliphaz back up to bat next week and what he has to say to what Job has just said. But that's what we talked about today. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow for our mailbag. Peace out.